Bobcat so far as this puck dumped into the Bobcat zone off the stick of Brett Link for Austin Becker. Becker on that far side corner, plays the point for Murphy. He'll walk in, he'll fire, and a toe save made, rebound, and a goal. Shane made the first stop on the shot by Murphy, and right in front, Cam Ricotta able to swing it past the right leg of Shane to get the Ice Dogs on the board. Position, Rudwood ended up getting called two minutes for roughing, but Welver was given a five minute major for fighting, and there's a goal right off the draw, unless it got tipped, that's John Bell. We'll see who leads the line, and it is John Bell, the first career goal for the young Bobcat defenseman. With 12-18 left in the first, a shot right off the draw, went right through traffic. Kai's never saw it. Look at that shot from Bell, right through everyone, did not get tipped. That will be the first career goal for John Bell. The Honey Badger ties the game at one. Forehand to backhand and lost the puck for a moment. He'll cycle it for Schwartz, Schwartz back to the point now for Beacom. He'll hold, he'll fire, he'll score! John Bell got his first, now it's Chase Beacom. The Bobcat Blue Liners have them up by one. For a wonderful, I guess, I guess you could say trinket. Maybe a little memento of tonight as a chance here for Jack Conroy in the slot, and he scores. The, tonight he actually gets the goal. Last night I said he got one, it was Luke Grammer. But after a turnover by the Ice Dogs, they were breaking out of their own zone. They lost possession, and Jack Conroy, right place, right time, alone in the high slot. Braden, er, uh, Ryan Taylor, now for George Grant, stop the near side circle for Taylor down low across the ice. He plays it off the goaltender, and in. Taylor tried to feed it across for Costello. It bounced off of Hargraves and in behind the Fairbanks netminder. And the Bobcats power play strikes again. It's Taylor's third goal in his last two games. The puck for the Cats, plays it up the wall. Knocked down by Usich, and the Cats take it back. Off the stick of Grammer, he lost the puck for Plant, and Plant scores. Bobcats sloppy in their own zone, trying to break it out. And finally, after Grammer lost the puck, trying to move it up the ice, Plant was there, able to take the puck in alone. Garby, carrying into the far side corner. Grammer ties him up, puck comes loose for Newharth. Top of the slot, he'll walk in and fire and score. I don't know if Shane missed it or if that got tipped on the way in. But Newharth able to rip it from the top of the near side circle and beat Shane on the near side post. It's a one goal game. Dogs, Conroy takes it for the Cats. He'll play it off the glove of an Ice Dog player. Carried out to center, here come the Cats, shorthanded two on two. It's Hankemeyer Howe with Conroy. Hankemeyer Howe walks in, fires, scores! Isaac Hankemeyer Howe, shorthanded, has made it a two goal lead once again. 140 remaining here in the third. Hargraves to the bench, extra attacker on. Bobcats take the puck away in their own zone. Hankemeyer Howe will throw it all the way down, and he'll score. Isaac Hankemeyer Howe's third goal of the weekend, his second tonight, an empty netter. And the Bobcats' lead is now 6-3. to three. It's Out to center. Final seconds will tick off the clock here in the third period. Bobcats will get the win 6-3 to three the final. They'll sweep the weekend from the Ice Dogs and go home with the happy bus.